Hello, you guys. What is up, you guys, and welcome to my semi-annual New York Fashion Week vlog. I love Fashion Week so much. Fashion girlies unite. We get to just wear cute outfits and go to some really cool events that every year I just feel more and more blessed to be able to go to because it just it's it's so crazy. So. I'm gonna be taking you guys along and um, I can't wait. So today's Wednesday, September 4th, start of fashion week. I think tomorrow's the first official day, but there's definitely a lot of events tonight. I have four events we're gonna attempt to go to. I think we're gonna make them, all four. Um, and we're starting out at the Webster for an Augustina Spotter Victoria Beckham Beauty event, then dinner, <laughs> then Dyson, which I'm excited they're launching something new then a Longchamp event and a Bulgari event. So really pumped about it all. I wanna show you guys my fit. I just got my hair and makeup done. Jennifer Korab Hair and Cara Lovello crushed it, dream team. Um, we did like a little slick straight moment with rounded ends and she pinned back the front pieces of my hair, which I love. Necklace is Bonamon, earrings. I, I think they're from Whitney Dillon's collection. This is like my ideal outfit, a little tiny top baggy bottom moment. This is a set from the brand St. Agni. I love it, like the baggy trousers, but it's like a snatched top. This bag fits so much. It's from the brand Flattered. It's kind of giving Bottega vibes, but it's literally so much cheaper. Um, and then I'm wearing these Attico snakeskin heels that are so fun. So I'm really excited. I've got to head out, but I'm gonna be taking you guys along all the hair, all the makeup, all the outfits, all the events, seeing everybody, and I really can't wait. And I'm really so grateful for all of you guys because that's why I get to do this. So let's get it started. That looks so good. Yeah. This is Ashley, my incredible Hi. manager, and we are hopping from event to event. We're gonna grab some dinner. Um, We're headed to Sartiano's. You've never been? I think I haven't. It's in the, you'll, I mean, you know where it is because yeah. it's in the Mercer Hotel, but. I went to a different Italian. Oh, it's so good. And it's just really vibey down there. It's very, it's a cool spot. So we're gonna grab a quick bite to eat there, fuel for the rest of the night. And then we're gonna pop by Dyson and they're launching some new product. And last time I went to this situation, they launched the Air Straight. So I'm really excited to see what they're launching. Um, and we just went and we got Shade Match, got some VBBX Augustina Spotter product. So I'm excited. Like, they just are constantly reinventing the wheel. So it was really cool to see all their new products. They have a new literal hair product that they've came out with that they've never done before. And um, Mr. Dyson and his son gave a presentation, which was just so special. It was just, I liked it. Do you like it, Ashley? Yeah, we learned so much. We learned so much and it's just everything they do is so well thought out. So we're headed to Longchamp now. When we get closer, I'm gonna change in the back of the car because they addressed me for the event, which is always a treat. Um, so I'm gonna put that on, we're gonna go to the event, and that's that. Okay, we changed in the car. Long shot. Got my cute baggy. <laughs>
fitting when you can because you're in heels that you don't normally wear. There were so many celebrities at that party, you guys. Dakota Johnson literally used the bathroom after me. After me. Currently thriving. As soon as I got home, I took a nice hot shower, washed my face, did all the skincare. I'm in my nightgown. About to watch some Emily in Paris. Like, life is so good. Tonight was so fun. I saw so many celebrities tonight. Literally was coming out of the bathroom and Dakota Johnson and like four people around her were like, please make way, make way. She's using your bathroom. And I was like, okay. So she sat on the toilet after me. It's whatever. Who else did I see? Olivia Colpo, Joey King. I saw her and others that I can't think of in this moment. I thought I saw Mila Kunis, but I don't think it was her. It was such a fun night. Literally successfully went to all four events on time. Like, you know, timely enough. And it's just so fun having my manager here and getting to do stuff with her. I love her so much. So I'm going to watch Smelly in Paris, have some tea and unwind. I'll see you guys in the morning. My favorite thing about Fashion Week is the next morning going online and seeing what pictures they took. Cute. Also cute. This was at Longchamp. Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday. I'm actually headed to the Aloe Gym today to do a good old Pilates class. So obviously, naturally, I'm wearing an Aloe set, this Aloe jacket. I don't even know what the temperature is, but I think there's been a chill in the air the last few mornings, which has been quite pleasant, but um, haven't done Pilates in a minute. I mean, I did Bala Bengal Bar the other day at Equinox, but like, it's been a minute. So honestly preparing myself to truly be humbled, but here's the fit and it'll be a great start today. I also love not being hungover. Like I didn't drink last night, it was so nice. You guys know how much I love live music. Like I'm a repeat offender. Like if someone's coming to town, I'm probably gonna go to them multiple nights if I can, cause I just love live music so much. And there are so many artists touring right now. Sabrina Carpenter, I'm gonna see her next month. Noah Khan, Billie Eilish, Charlie XCX. Like there are so many artists out and about touring and that's where SeatGeek has you covered. I feel like sometimes, especially living in New York or any city really, you don't always know when someone's coming to town and then you'll see on someone's story like, oh my gosh, Billie Eilish was here. I wish I knew and I went to the concert. So highly suggest going on SeatGeek and like checking out what's going on in your area because you'll be surprised. Like it's a Saturday night here and Ryan and I are like, should we do something tonight? What's the vibe? And sometimes you don't wanna just go to dinner. Maybe you wanna go to a concert or a live event of sorts, a game. And SeatGeek is perfect for that. I have fabulous news, because probably a lot of you guys have used SeatGeek before. That's okay, because if you use my code, Danielle10, that'll get you 10% off any ticket. So if it's a sport game, if it's a concert, whatever it is, you name it, you're gonna get 10% off with that code. So like I said, no matter how many times you've bought tickets on SeatGeek, if you use my code, Danielle10, that will get you 10% off any ticket. So while you're watching this video, take out your phone, download the SeatGeek app or open the SeatGeek app, put in the code Danielle10 so you can get 10% off your next order of any kind. Also, I highly suggest you guys do this now because this offer is only available for a limited time and that's pretty epic. Like to get 10% off on a concert ticket. Thank you so much to SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. I just showered and I have a snail mucin face mask on just to moisturize. One of the things about Fashion Week is you're so go, go, go and like one place to the next. And so I like can't get my work done as much. So I am trying to take this time to just knock out some things and see what I can get done. I'm doing this for a little bit and then I have a fitting at Cynthia Rally for their show on Tuesday that I'm so excited about. Apparently it's gonna be epic. And then we'll come back, get, I'm not gonna wear makeup there. I'm gonna come back, get ready. And then we have an evening of things. Tonight's more chill, which I'm really happy about. Um, but Clara, Clara Purse is, Literally landing in New York right now, and I cannot wait to see her tonight. We're going to dinner, 
There's a nylon event tonight. We may pop by after dinner if we're feeling it, but I don't really know. But this face mask feels amazing. I got it on Amazon. It's so, so moisturizing, like to the max. Okay, we're headed to the fitting and I'm really trying to challenge myself to like actually put together a look rather than like just throwing on athleisure when I leave the door. So button down, stays on. Low rise jeans are from Abercrombie. I'm wearing some little Amazon flats. And then the star of the show are these transparent sunglasses. I mean, they have like the slightest, slightest tint, but I think they're so cool. They're basically Bottega dupes. Cause I was like, do I even like those? I don't know. And I really like the shape on my face. I feel like it just really elevates the whole outfit. Anyways, we're gonna go to this fitting, try on some outfits. I am breaking out so bad. Like I have a white head right there. We love that. That, this is getting off birth control. Like this is definitely what I was expecting, unfortunately. Guys, I have so many options. Like, look at this. I'm so excited. <gasps> okay. The glasses are a part of the outfit tonight, I think. I just feel really cool in them. And I wanna wear sunglasses, but like it's getting into the evening. So I think this is the vibe. Wearing this sick black denim set that like cinches, which I love about it. Um, it's from Forward. I'll have it linked on my LTK and a similar one as well. Like I said, the Amazon glasses, electric picks, earrings, and then just some little booties that are kind of squeaking right now. I don't know why, but we are, our first stop is the park pop-up. I love park, I love Chelsea. She's absolutely amazing. And when she came here last time, I definitely bought some things. So I'm excited to go see her, go check out the pop-up. I'm meeting Katie there, Clara might be there. And then we're going to frolic around the city for a little bit and then we have a shop pop event and then dinner at the new restoration hardware like guest house place. So I'm so excited. It's not the restoration hardware like restaurant on the roof. It's like a different one. So I'm really excited to try it out um, with Clara, Mary Skinner and Katie. And then there's a nylon party tonight but I just don't know if that's happening. So. DC is the outfit and I'm so excited. I've been listening to Drake nonstop. Circadian rhythm is so good. I hit the weed too hard. You sent an eight minute voice message straight from the heart. Voice note. So funny because I just do not smoke, but you know, I vibe. Um, okay, and I'm just gonna bring the same bag because it fits so much. Let's go. It smells really bad. It makes me wonder if I stepped in something. No. No. Mark's safe. No. But you know when you smell something and you're like, mm. and it's, 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 following it's following me. Oh, that's a perfect street that I went out there. We like never do this, but we are like putting our phones on the windows and like filming our outfits. And it's, I don't know how people do that all the time. Like, we're being full fledged TikTokers. Well, I don't know how people do it alone. Like, alone. With, we're with together. You, I feel safe. It feels less. It's kind of yeah. shady though. It Actually, is kind we of keep shady. going. I see some light over there. We're trying to follow the sun. We just made it to Restoration Hardware Guest House. It's so nice. Like, this is my own private bathroom. It's so sexy. Like, I love it. I'm a little buzzed. It's so good, though. Cute! 
Hey, Clara. Is it dirty or not? It is not dirty. What? You are? A second round? Obviously. Well, I'm still working on this one, but it's... We're gonna, I'm going to go show them my apartment. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Ah! Yay, apartment tours. 11 p.m. apartment tours. We're turning them up here. We're doing apartment tours right now. What do you think? I'm speechless. <laughs> the closet, I have no words. Mary's like climbing the ladder. I am She's like, she's Beauty and the Beast in the library. Like, I actually oh. need it, though, to get up there. No, this is gorgeous. Thank you so it's much. So big, it, it's so big, too. I think it's bigger it's in like person. It's, well, it's bigger than your last closet. Yeah, 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 yeah. My closet room that, like, didn't office, even fit everything. I need the link. No, it's. Oh, <gasps> yes. Is this article? It's Amazon. Wait, oh, no, oh. No, no, no. I mean, I, I love like, you. I love my... your box. I love your box. I love my I box this. so much. This is article. Is that article? Yeah. Yeah, we talked about you DM'd me about this. I, I thought maybe I was talking about that. Amazing. Oh, that is one's that Lulu and Georgia. Oh, okay. That's Lulu and Georgia. Article? Yeah. Yes. This is article. You're not sick. Little console moment. I love article. Wait, what kind of view do you have? It's just a view. You can. See. We're taking Gregu shots. Like, like it's so happening. Like, <laughs> we have our we're mix. Committing. We're so committed. We are really committed. We have our orange juice. It's good. on um i'm sitting here listening to some smooth jazz drinking my coffee definitely feeling a little bit weak today <laughs> i uh started my period this morning so that will do that to you but last night was so fun it was so fun bringing the girls over here to like show them my apartment and we were just being silly goofy and then we went to the nylon event which i wasn't sure if i was gonna go to but it was cool because we got to see paris hilton perform which was cool. She's obviously iconic. It is now, I laid in bed for, I keep doing this and I need to not. It's because there's um, blackout like shades in my bedroom, which I absolutely love. But then I'm like, it's still so early. And I just like, let I keep snoozing my hatch alarm. I don't go back to sleep. I'm just like on my phone on TikTok. It's just kind of like my decompressing time because I'm, like during fashion week, I feel like I'm just talk to, talking to everyone. It's very social. So like being able to charge my social battery is really nice. And sometimes that's being on TikTok as it is for a lot of people. But um, I say this all because it's now 10, 20 AM. I woke up at 8.30, not even, I woke up at like eight and then I just laid there. But you know what, I enjoyed it. I did enjoy it. But then you're like, oh my God, it's 10, 20 and the day has gotten away from me. But it's kind of overcast this morning, which is nice. Getting my hair and makeup done at 1 p.m. today. So I've got a little time. I'd like to get a little walk in, um, but I'm also like, my apartment's a mess and I'm trying to keep up with it like every day, just like cleaning it because then for some reason when I'm getting ready to leave, I just throw everything everywhere, so. And I just, I like to have a clean space. That's just, it keeps me sane. But yeah, we have three events tonight. Feeling excited. And then tomorrow morning, I'm really excited because tomorrow morning I'm hosting an event with Aster the Label, which I'm so excited about. I'm, I love the collection that they're coming out with and they're like dressing everyone that's coming, which I think will be really cool. Um, so actually before the event tomorrow, we're doing a photo shoot. So and that, tomorrow's Saturday. It's a Friday today. So a little Saturday morning moment. It'll be done just in time for me to go see the end of the Georgie game, which will be fun. But I also have a whole to-do list that I didn't get to yesterday. So I'm just sitting here trying to plan my attack as I drink my decaf coffee. I think the first plan is to make my bed tidy up so that I feel whole and clean and clear. <laughs> And then from there, I will get some work done, shower, be ready for glam. Maybe I'll walk in there at some point, but I'm not so sure now. I'm seriously just in a very grateful mood. I feel so grateful. And thank you guys so much for constantly supporting me, seriously. Like, what is life? September is about to be such a fun month. It already is. I feel so grateful. And I will never not be grateful. I know I'm gonna cry. Um, anyways, <laughs> let's clean. Steph is here. We're setting up all the way from Tampa, baby. I'm so excited to do some glam. Atlanta. 
Hi. Yes. Hi. MJ's here now too. Say hi. hi. We've got the whole setup. It's like beer pong makeup versus <laughs> hair edition. Like this is so good. MJ is literally saying, you guys look at my hair. It's so good. Where do you, do you want me to sit or stand? Oh wait, hold on, let's get these hairs. Do you want to sit or actually, I'm looking at it right now. Let's just stand. Yeah. How do you like your front pieces to be? Do you want them to be sparse? Cause I love a like. I actually like them together. Okay, you like them together. Yeah. See, we have opinions. We're yeah. working on We're working having, on having opinions. Danielle? Well, I'm learning. Once you asked me, I was like, I actually do like them together. I know. Okay. Because so for now some reason, I have trouble with spot. Like I, I don't know. I don't. I because I touch my hair sometimes. So right. when they're together, it kind of works out. Because if they're sparse, then like I pull them together on accident. They're not how they're supposed to be. All right. Well, we'll tell the followers the two inch curling iron makes you look like you actually have a blowout, not the one inch. In my oh opinion. wait, T. So that's how you actually get the blowout look. Oh my the gosh. Blowout yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Like those look more having playtime. This has been so fun. Okay, glam is done. I'm trying to get dressed. One of the things about living alone is the getting dressed of it all. Sometimes zipping things, getting things in the back. I There's no clip on the top of this skirt. Ugh, shit. So I, ugh, I'm like using like a chip clip in hopes that I just need it to Ah, shoot. I, I've one time asked my doorman for help and it was, the girl was down there. But I don't know who's down there. And that was my last apartment. I don't wanna do that here. I don't wanna do it. It's where the change in the fabric is. I can't get it zipped. It like won't go. Ugh. Like the thing is, wherever I'm going, like there's so many girlies that can help me but I just don't want to walk out of my apartment like that. Oh, I did it. I did it. I don't know what I did, but I did it. Thank God, maybe the key is leaning over. Okay, let me finish accessorizing. So we've got this beautiful mock neck little sweater top. This skirt is so good. Doing literally the same bag I've been using all week, except for in a nude color. Had to get both. Do these gold bangles um, and then some rings. I think I should have had caffeine today, you guys. I think that would have been the move. Oh, this is so pretty. Literally obsessed. Who says you can't wear white after Labor Day? Who said it? Steph made a really cute little bag for me with like touch-ups, which is so nice. There's literally powder in this powder puff, so obviously this is coming with me. Here is the finished look. I love it, added these like little Short, um, cream pumps. The skirt is obviously the center of the stage. I'm really glad we did our hair up. My, our hair, my hair. Added some body glow, got the clutch. Then I'm gonna kinda hold like this. I'm happy with it. I can't believe I'm doing this all over again. Maybe next season I do like every other day. I like have a day off in between of like getting hair and makeup ready. But there's just so many cool things that I wanna do and I don't wanna say no to. Oh. Sitting down. Oh wait, I have body glow on. Let me not lean against my white couch. I am so happy to be sitting. The event was so lovely. I got to meet so many amazing people, designers, people who are like buyers for Moda. I ran into um, some friends. It was really, really nice. Casa Cipriani is literally so stunning. It's a social club here in New York. Um, and they were playing jazz music. You feel like you're on a cruise ship. And apparently that was like what they wanted in the design. So they did a really good job. Um, it was lovely. I didn't drink. Um, I just don't see that in my future for tonight because I have something really exciting tomorrow morning that I have to be up early for. So my feet were just hurting so bad. I really don't wear heels that aren't comfortable. And honestly, I was in those heels for a long time. Like, and, and we weren't like walking around a lot. It was a lot of like standing and talking. And I feel like that's when your feet hurt more. Um, but so funny, I, the last like month of living in this apartment, I mean, I've been a little dressed up here and there, but um, not as much, I've been like moving and like when I leave my building, I'm like traveling, so I'm in sweat sets, like I don't have makeup on, whatever. I just walked into my lobby and I was just like, hey, how are you, it's my doorman and he goes, hi, who are you here to visit? And I thought he was kidding. And I looked and I was like, it's me and blah, blah. And he was like, oh my gosh. He was like, I've, your, your hair is always down. 
And I was like, he was basically trying to say, like, you like you look really good, I think. Like, I just look a lot different. I was like, good. I'm glad I look different today. Um, I think he felt so bad. But I was like, no, literally, that's so funny that you think that. Like, he, he literally was like, who are you? Like, who are you here to see? Like, don't walk past me because my building is very secure, which I really like. And I feel very safe here. So, just resting my feet. I had another event to go to, but I wish I had brought a different pair of shoes. I just couldn't have stood any longer and I have nothing left to give in this moment. So we're just gonna not go. I'm really sad because I love, like I work with that brand all the time, but I, my feet, I just, it wouldn't have been good for anyone. So um, I'm home now. I'm going to change because I'm a walking napkin and um, Ryan's gonna come over. I miss him so much. And we're gonna go to dinner and we're either gonna go to this poppy world's big party, but I feel like literally everyone in new york city was invited and is going and which is so fun it's like a reason to go and it's gonna be so cool but also i fear a lot of these events like the lines outside are so long and there's just crowds of people trying to get in everyone there is like invited but with fashion Week, like everyone is someone and like everyone wants to be at the front of the line and i'm not someone to be like whoa 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 like i'm cutting the line. like very rarely you're gonna see me like actually try to get in there i'm usually like okay there's the back of the line like i get awkward um unless i'm like no Pretty much never but sometimes like someone from the brand will like see me and be like oh hey danielle yeah yeah you're on our this list i'm like Ooh, cool not often but sometimes and that's really exciting but anywho ryan kind of really wants to go to the poppy event so i'm trying to muster it up to go and actually delaney was invited so she's going too so that'll be fun i don't know we're gonna start with dinner and go from there but that's a little recap all right here is the outfit for tonight. It's kind of like randomly fancy, but it's because I just like can't figure out an outfit. Like I just don't have the, I have decision fatigue. I don't want to pick out an outfit. So I have this dress that I've never worn from Norma Kamali. It's brown, it's flit, fit and flare. Ryan said he liked it. Um, and then some little black heels. Ryan's trying to figure out where we're gonna eat. <laughs> um, and then I'm gonna do this little bag to tie it all in, a little outfit sandwich. So let's do it. Apparently 50 Cent just came on at the Poppy events. We're like, oh, I hear him. It's Delaney! 50 Cent is on right now. Bobby event it was like star studded and I got to see so many of my friends that like live in LA that were visiting I didn't even know they were in New York like that is the fun part about fashion week so many people come to town but notably Cordell from Love Island was there I was I kept he was like taking a ton of photos but I kept looking over to see if he would do the spin <laughs> what is this uh the song um you know the song where you da -da -da, I came here for love but I didn't see him do it. Maria from The Bachelor was there. Also, Kelsey, is that her name? The one that ended up with Joey. The Bachelor was there. A lot of like reality TV stars. And then like Delaney was freaking out because there was like some housewives there. And then we were leave. Oh, and then 50 Cent came on stage and he was the surprise performance, which was so fun. Poppy puts on a good event. It was really good. And I got to drink a Poppy the whole night, which was so fun. And then if you wanted, you could get one with alcohol in it. And it was really fun. And I actually got to meet a few followers that were there. So it was really fun. Then Delaney texts me because we like left at the same time. And she goes, did you just see who was in front of the event? Like he wasn't, this person wasn't going into the event. She just saw him. And I was like, no, who? Adam Sandler. She's like, I just made eye contact with Adam Sandler. I really don't even fangirl anymore. But like when it's like, like Adam Sandler, that's really freaking cool. So I'm sad I didn't, I didn't see him with my own two eyes. And 50 Cent came on stage. He was a good performance. It was fun. So I'm really happy we ended up going. Um, tomorrow morning, I get up bright and early, 7 a.m. for Glam. I am doing a really fun event with Astro the Label. I'm really pumped about that. And I just get to get my hair and makeup done again tomorrow. Like, this is fun. So funny. Earlier, I was like so tired and stressed, but I'm like so energized now. <laughs> Ryan's like, see, aren't you glad we went? Because I was kind of just really tired. What's What are you watching, Ryan? Duke Northwestern. Duke Northwestern. Yeah, that was really country. 
But guys, I literally love my doorman so much. It's so funny, my doorman downstairs, like there's a lot of them. And this one, he hadn't met Ryan yet. So when Ryan got here, he called up to me. He's like, hi, someone like Ryan's here. <laughs> he didn't know I had a boyfriend and he was like nervous for me. So then when we walked in, I was like, this is Ryan. He was like, oh, okay. So that was funny. And like, we just chatted with him for a while. So he's so, oh my God, we love him. He's the best. So overall, great day. I don't want to take off my glam. But I also I am really excited because I'm gonna hop in the shower because I feel disgusting at the same time. So, see you guys in the morning. Good morning, cam Good morning. artistry. <laughs> we are just having a lovely morning. I just finished my glam. I'm obsessed. Olivia Halpin did my hair. She did a fabulous job. I wanted something that felt very me, and this is perfect. We did a little black in the waterline, and I'm obsessed. The contour, the blush, like it all looks so good. And like the eyes are kind of snatched. I like like good snatchy wing. Um, and I'm really happy because I'm wearing like very much so, well, I'll show you guys the outfits later, but I'm really, really excited for today. It's gonna be such a fun shoot. It's like an hour shoot. And I think we have like some fun props. We're shooting on like a pool table in like a blazer. It's very like Ooh. after dark vibes. I'm excited. And then the event will start and like, I think some of my friends are coming. I think Clara, Mary, Katie, Margo, um, to say a few, but I'm feeling really blessed that they want to spend their Saturday mornings with me. So, or afternoons, I guess, but excited. Ryan's literally still in there asleep. He can sleep through anything. But um, we also started The Perfect Couple last night on Netflix. It's so good and it's actually a show that like he's enjoying and I'm enjoying too. So there's only two episodes out right now, but like, can't wait for more. We are back now from the event. It went so well. Like I literally had this moment with my manager where we both kind of shed a tear because I remember talking to her. She was like, remember that call we had like two years ago? And like every year we always talk about this, how I just want to get more into fashion in my within my content, working with certain brands. And she was like, you're literally hosting a New York Fashion Week event right now. Like, how do you feel? And I just like started crying. I was like, this is nuts. And so many of my friends came to support, which I really, really, really appreciated. Like it meant the absolute world to me. And everyone was just wearing the collection. Everyone looked so cute. The event was so swanky. Everyone was like, wow, this is like a really well done event. And I was like, yeah, I only align myself with those kinds of events. So I was really, really just, it was great. The photo shoot went so great before. I was like doing approvals on site of the photos like before people were getting there. And then after me, Clara, Katie, and Mary went to lunch and like kind of just chatted and I feel so grateful. So now I'm home and I don't want to take out my makeup. And Ryan and I were like, should we do something tonight? Like I look so cute, but I'm also like, I'm kind of tired. I don't really know. But yeah, I'm just having a sparkling water to celebrate. Um, and kind of trying to decide my vibe. I'm gonna keep my makeup on for a little bit longer because I feel cute. That's the thing. I'm like, I got all glam, feeling good. But I also, um, a lot of my friends like posted from the event today and stuff. So I wanna like go repost, go check it out, post some of my own content. Um, and I'm just dying to watch either Emily in Paris or The Perfect Couple on Netflix. But I think Ryan's kind of into The Perfect Couple now since we started it last night. So I'll wait, maybe I'll watch Tell Me Lies on Hulu. So I feel like he's not watching that or he wouldn't want to watch that. Anyways, I'm so happy. This dress is from Astro the Label. It's so good. And it's all one, like it's layered. It has the layered look. It's a good background. Ryan's here and I got a PR package from the perfect couple. So I put them all out and Ryan's trying to guess who he think killed Merritt. It's gotta be a team effort, but she seems too obvious too. Too obvious. Yeah. So goodbye, tag, and goodbye. What's her name again? Greer, yeah. Oh, if you don't even remember her name, all right. I think I'm going to clear that. Um, uh, it's the bride, right? That's the bride. That would. No, she's not <laughs> it. Ah! That does. That this almost is seems. This is the groom. This is the, groom, the right? groom's brother's. She had Madeline wife, before that, but girl, I don't think. And then the other guy for the bride. That's um, Shooter line. is his name, I think. Yeah, but he's like the other, the one that got away, right? 
Yeah, it's seeming like that in the show. Right, so I keep it <laughs> Good morning. It's Sunday morning, and Ryan and I are gonna go to the gym together. We're gonna go to my apartment gym and get a little movement in, and then sauna. Look at us go. Still got our suspects list out. <laughs> Ryan thinks none of these people did it. Oh, you updated it. Yeah. You updated it. Hmm. All showered, we saunaed, we worked out. It's now NFL game day, so I've got my Buccaneer sweatshirt on. This is from Abercrombie. It is so soft. Oh my gosh. It's linked on my LTK. And then just a little tennis skirt and sneaks because we're gonna go get some sweet green and keep up with our little healthy morning and watch some football. And then we have a fashion show tonight. Such a dynamic day. Cats here. And she had me sit here and I'm like, wait, I'm not mad because I'm watching tennis because we were watching Taylor Fritz play in the men's championship. Taylor Swift is there as well, which is crazy. And my friend Morgan Riddle's there and her boyfriend is Taylor Fritz. So I am rooting him on. This is so exciting. And he's representing USA. So. USA. USA. <laughs> There's Morgan. There's Morgan right there. Oh, they're like showing her, yeah. Make our secret. She's using sunscreen on my chest mm -hmm. to give that glow without having to worry. Super goop play. About the tint. Super goop play. That's the one. So I'll be nice and protected on my chest. Yes. Thank Don't you. forget the chest. Don't forget the chest. Okay, you guys, just finished makeup. I love it as usual. We've been really doing a lot of liner and I am obsessed. Um, so here is my outfit for the Christian Cohen show. It's at a blade helicopter pad on the water. So I think it's gonna be like really sick and really cool. Um, so I'm wearing this denim jumpsuit, a little Orion belt, going to get my hair done at Trust Me Hair Salon right now. Um, but I think it actually looks kind of cool. Tucked in and then some black heels. I don't know anyone that's going to the show, so I'm kind of nervous, but it'll be fun and I, I can't wait. Like the weather's good, thankfully. And I just love, this is my first runway show this season, so I can't wait. Let's go. Okay, hair is done. She did that so quick and so well. We did just beachy waves, a few pieces in the front so you could like really highlight the outfit. Makeup is so good. Um, I'm just chilling at Hudson Yards Mall. That's where they like had us come to get our hair done. I got it done with Tresemme. And I'm realizing that like, I mean, the earrings with this are fine, but I'm like, now that I have my hair up, maybe I should have a bigger earring. So I'm like, there is a Zara here, but they don't really have good earrings. There's an H&M here, maybe. I don't know. These don't look bad. Right? All right, we're here. This is where the show is gonna be. I'm here with Katie, Miss AM Uncovered slash st street style photographer slash video everything. And we're taking some really cool shots here before I go in. Good morning guys, it's Monday morning, still fashion week, but today is kind of my off day. Um, I'm shooting another episode of AM Uncovered this morning with the founder of LTK, and then I have a fitting for an event that I'm going to tomorrow, but other than that, that's it. I'm going to work out, I'm going to cook, I'm gonna just 
B. Go for a walk, maybe. Um, and then tomorrow's about to be crazy. So that is the day. I'm trying to pick out what I'm going to wear. I took a month off of AM Uncovered because literally everyone was traveling in August slash I was moving and traveling. So it was like the perfect situation. But we're about to start season two. We've got some great guests lined up. So I'm just trying to figure out what I want to wear this morning. I've been loving this shirt from Abercrombie. And I kind of have, I do, I kind of, I do have pants that match it. Also from Abercrombie. This is from like a different set, but it kind of goes. So I think we're going to do this. Um, my hair stayed so well. I was so scared to take it out of the ponytail, but I mean, I don't know how it looks in the back, but the curls in the front are looking really good. Pookie is looking really good. The hair. Pookie is hair. Um, just gotta do my makeup and shower. So let's do it. Okay, makeup is done. I can't believe my hair has stayed so nicely. This is the outfit that I spoke of earlier. I decided to do some silver accessories. So I'm wearing just some silver hoops. This bangle is actually kind of loud, but like I feel like it kind of brings it all together. And then I do have a little heel on. These are Steve Madden from DSW. They're like perfect because they're super low, very comfortable. She's staying at Phuket's hotel. So we're doing a little AM Uncovered Hotel edition. And I'm excited to see her routine and meet her. So let's go. Target tomorrow so I am doing a fitting for like the outfit I'm gonna wear and these are some things that I pre-picked out that I get to try on now fitting went great I'm back now just getting some work done I just emptied out my purse because I feel like I kept throwing things in and not taking anything out this is everything that was in my purse if you guys are curious all the lip products like it's crazy how you just keep adding them in. Not too bad, really. I had two pairs of sunglasses. I have a portable charger. If you, this stuff I've been loving. This jet lag, like Summer Fridays Mist. It, wow, I'm actually more than halfway through. I brought it on a flight. It's nice to like refresh your makeup halfway through the day. Three things of essential oils. Probably can bring that down. Breath spray. Just thought this was an interesting sight to see. My doorman just brought me a garment delivery because I am being dressed for a show that I'm going to on Wednesday, Kuchaleli Shaheen. I'm so excited. I've never been to one of their shows before, but I've seen like photos and stuff and the shows look sick and the clothing is unreal. And I was so excited when they said they would wanted to dress me. I'm a little nervous because, you know, we're working with sample sizes here. I talked about this last fashion week. I am a true size four slash six, depending on fit, like top four, bottom six. So sometimes with sample size, the samples are usually like two or four. So it's a little tough sometimes. So we're gonna see, I don't, you know, I love my body, I love who I am, so we just deal. But I, I did tell them my sizes and I said, whatever you guys think, usually I go for like the stretchier items. Um, or like, I know what type of pieces fit me better. If, I don't know. So this is one of the dresses I picked out. I'm gonna try this all on now and see what fits. It's this beautiful green cutout dress with like these like, sheer sleeves oh my god it's she's heavy wow or they also sent me which was really nice because a lot of the times they'll just send you like whatever they have but they sent me two of the options i sent them like my top three outfits they sent me like a lookbook of um like outfit options and they also sent this one which was really nice so these are like these sick gold pants seemingly stretchy we love that and then I think this is a jacket with like a bra top. So we're gonna see. I really hope one of these works. <laughs> okay, this dress is stunning. However, I am unable to zip it myself. And I don't even know if someone else could because I don't think it's gonna connect on the top. So it's okay, we tried. If it, It's very pretty though. It's honestly really heavy, but that means the other one has to work. Okay, so yay. The pants fit. I'm gonna have to wear super tall heels. 
This blazer is so sick, like the detail. The bra top, as we can see, is just squeezing the girls a little too much. Like I just don't think that even looks right. So maybe I just wear a plain black bralette. Let's see how that looks. Or like I just took the bra top off. I could like fashion tape this to my skin and do like a no, you know, open blazer moment. Well, not open, but you know what I mean. I am so short. <laughs> I'm gonna have to, let me just throw on my heels and just make sure. Obviously I can't hem a sample. So we're just gonna have to put on the highest heels that we have. I wonder how much this outfit would be. I feel like it would be very expensive. It's very heavy. These shoes do not match at all, but I think they're the highest heels I have. I also have these black ones that are pretty high. They're just not as comfortable. So let's give these a go. Okay, I think I like it with the black underneath. This one's ribbed and like the blazer, it's like two different blacks. So I might explore my closet a little more. I think I have another black bra top that's not ribbed and maybe it's more like this material. because so it's like a ribbed, I don't know how to explain it. But I think I like it open better so we can show some skin. I wish the bra top that they gave me worked, but it's okay. I also had to put on the white. The black weren't tall enough. So I'm just gonna pray that in photos you can't see. I mean, you really can. I'm kind of just gonna be shuffling around walking, but like, this is so cool. Also going to have to have my hair up, I do believe, because also my hair keeps getting stuck in these like floral things on the blazer. But this is so cool. To wrap up the evening, I made some sleepy time tea. I'm watching and Tell Me Lies season one because I've watched it before, but I feel like I was in college when I watched it. I could be crazy, but I really feel like it was my senior year of college and now season two is out and I remember nothing. So I'm rewatching season one. I forgot how like intense the show is kind of, but um, yeah, just like a chill late night watch. I might have to switch it up to YouTube or something before I go to bed, but I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Today is about to be a very busy and very fun day. We're starting off with filming another episode of season two of I Am Uncovered. <clears throat> I'm headed over to the one and only, the infamous, no, actually, actually not the one and only, but the infamous pop-up bagels. Ah, I'm so excited. I am meeting up with the founder, Adam Goldberg, and he's gonna show me his morning routine. Um, and then we're gonna like end up at pop-up bagels and it's just gonna be a whole thing and I'm so excited. So um, I did my makeup quickly and then, wait, let me show you my outfit. I'm just spinning you around. I'm wearing this red set that I got from the park pop-up last week. It's so good. I have this set in two other colors because I love it so much. And I thought this was perfect for game days, both Georgia and Tampa Bay Bucks. So it's kind of perfect. These are like the horseshoe jeans and then this little jacket. I'm wearing a 28 in the jeans and a small medium in the jacket, if you guys are wondering. And then I just have a little white bodysuit underneath and then some Reebok super platform sneakers. I love them. And then some like fun earrings to kind of make it a little more bold. I don't know. But yeah, I'm excited. I hopefully I'm gonna get to eat a pop-up bagel, which will be fun. And yeah, I can't wait to see his morning routine. And then we come back and we take off my makeup and we're doing glam, we're doing hair, we're doing all the things because I have an event with Target and then I come home and change and then we're going to Kate, Totem, and a Cynthia Rally show. Big day, like I said. And honestly, I have lots of energy for it today. I feel refreshed after yesterday. I'm just calling my Uber and I'm so excited to see a ton of my friends tonight and maybe at the Target event and to have a pop-up bagel. So it's gonna be a great day. We just finished filming with Adam. It was so fun. You guys are literally gonna die. It's so funny. Obviously he gave us some bagels. I just took one because I need to be mobile. I need to get back home now so I can shower really quick and get ready for glam because we have lots of events today. Okay, I'm laying out all of my looks for today. This is my outfit that I'm gonna wear to the Target event. It is so cute. It's like this little cable knit sweater tucked into, or like a front tuck in this skirt. These shoes, it's giving Chanel. Bye. Target, all Target. These are so comfortable too. Some fun earrings and then this bag, which I am just obsessed with. And then I am just, I have some of this stuff hung up on the rack and then I need to 
steam this jacket. It's from the Frankie shop. I'm wearing it to the Kate and Totem. Like, they're like cocktail parties. Oh, gotta take these guys off. I'm excited because I'm going to those two events with Cass and Kelly. So it'll be fun. And then all three of us are going to Cynthia Rally after. And I'm wearing this stunning blazer dress that... You know what? I think we're going to be changing the car, which is going to be fun. And when I went to my fitting, I had these glasses on. It looked kind of sick. So I'm just going to bring them as an accessory. But I'm going to grab some tights because I feel like tights and heels could be cute with that moment. I'm also going to do a really sick hairstyle. May or may not be using my bangs. They came out last Feb in February for Fashion Week. And I think I'm going to do an updo like Pamela Anderson vibes with these bangs. Updates to come, but that's what I'm feeling. So this outfit's done for this outfit. Oh, I'm doing these heels, which will be just so cute. We're doing the bangs, you guys. We are having a moment. We are having a moment. Guys, <laughs> I love this so much. So yeah, you were able to make the bangs a little sparser, it seems. Yes. Wow, thank you so much. And we did like a nude lip. No, I don't think so. I don't really know what I would change, so thank you. So good. Guys, I'm so obsessed with my hair. So we're starting off with Target. I'm so excited. The girl that was doing my hair, Olivia, she said she was just doing someone's hair to go to the event too. So like, I know I'm gonna see some pals there. I think Mary Skinner's gonna be there and I'm sure some others as well. So I'm excited. I'll show you guys my outfit. It's kind of funny, my hair, the makeup is so good. We did like this nude lip and she left the liner with me cause she's coming back tomorrow. Um, but, So much. My outfit and the hair is kind of, I mean, the hair does go with this outfit too, but like in a different way. It's kind of giving like mom that just like threw her hair up really quick and I'm obsessed. But then like with my other outfit tonight, it's like edgy. I'm like so, she did such a good job putting the bangs in. I'm so glad I got those bangs made in February. So this is my outfit for the event. I absolutely love it. This skirt, or this, it's all from Target, literally the earrings. The skirt is so cute. I'll be wearing this a lot. These flats just look so cute with this skirt. Like this with like even a little tee, I think would be really cute. These ear, like obsessed. And then where's my bag? I was just packing my bag. This is also from Target. The bag might be one of my favorite parts. Like this is so perfect and it fits a lot. Structured. Okay, I changed, got the full. Kate look, it's like this sheer button down, short sleeve, little mini skirt, snakeskin heels, and then the trench over top. What do we think? Should I be like rolling my sleeves? Like, I don't even know. I love it though. Let's head out, baby. We're here shooting before we go in. Oh, Kelly, you look so pretty. And there's Cass, slaying the game in the bit. Set. She's watching on the map so how crazy. close we're getting. We're going to town because we think hopefully they'll have a cheese. <laughs> 
Is that a? No, he's just trying oh. to get the cat. Oh, oh. I'm here for <laughs> Kelly's <laughs> table. Thank you. Look, like, he looks like he's about to turn us the fuck away. God, I draw the line at catch steak. I will not go in. Wait, have you ever been though? No, and I don't want to. Wait, That's really that? true. Cat is here. Okay. One last, actually no, I see you on Friday. But one last time for Fashion Week. I'm going to the Cuccioleli Shaheen show today. I'm really excited. They're dressing me, so I'm kind of styling out some of the pieces that they sent me, figuring out what I want to wear. Um, I'm gonna try something really interesting with my hair today. I don't have anyone coming to do my hair, and I'm gonna attempt to do something that I actually saw Jackie Osher do with her hair. She did like a low bun with like a headband, not this one, like a black headband and like strands in the front and I might add my bangs. I don't know, it might be like really weird. Um, and if so, I'll just like slick it back. <laughs> but like, that's like the plan, we're gonna see. Um, but yeah, so one last fashion week glam. I haven't seen it yet. Oh wait, I didn't even show you guys the inspo I showed Kat. Madeline Klein, obviously. She's giving Madeline. That's all I wanted. True. And then I gotta figure out what to do with my hair. Okay, <laughs> so I put in the bangs myself and did a low bun. I have to wear my hair up because the flowers on the blazer that they sent me are simply catching all of my hair and ripping it out. So hair has to be up and I, ooh, I don't know. Cat said it didn't look bad. I don't know. We're gonna see this all coming together here in a second. So I'm just wearing like, the pants, I just, every single pair of shoes I put on, I was tripping in, and no one wants that. Got some tall boots, got the blazer. I don't know. I wish I had a tighter dress. You know what? This is cute. This, I just need to switch my earrings. Ooh. I literally don't look like myself. But that's also the fun of Fashion Week, but I just, like what is this piece of hair? Is this my own hair? Like, I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I just sent a picture to Cass and she's like, wait, I'm so impressed you did your own hair. Cause she just said I looked good and I was like, wait, I did my own hair. And she's like, wait, it looks good. So hopefully, and I'll translate. I think I just don't feel like me, you know? But I love this blazer so much and I'm excited to, I love a runway show. Like obviously I love all the events, but like going to a runway is just so exciting. It gives me the chills. I love seeing all the new pieces. So I'm gonna head there now. I'm just gonna use this clutch again because it's just been like going with everything and you can kind of hold it like that. So. absolutely stunning I immediately took my hair out took my bangs out like everything was bothering me but I actually got a lot of compliments on the outfit on the hair um, and I saw Hannah Maloche there which was nice to see her because um, I know she doesn't live here but that is officially a wrap for New York Fashion Week vlog I hope you guys enjoyed I hope this wasn't two hours long but also how fun if it is I love you guys so much. Thank you so much for all of your support, for hyping me up this week. It literally meant the world to me and it was so fun taking you guys along. So I will see you guys very soon for our next video. Bye.